Laura, I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, welcome to the first award ceremony for Interpor 2021. And we're pleased to introduce a new award which recognizes meritorious service. This is the Meritorious Service Medal, and it recognizes an individual for exceptional, prolonged, impactful, and meaningful services to the society. These individuals who receive this award have exhibited exceptional devotion to Interpor through their time, their effort, thought, and action as to set them apart from other contributions. At this time, I'd like to announce the recipient for 2021. Next slide, please. Which is Professor Oleg Ilyev from the Fraunhofer Institute for Industrial Mathematics. At this time, uh, Majid Hazanira will, who nominated Professor Ilyev, will give his nomination speech. Thank you, Laura. Yeah, it's my great pleasure, Oleg, to be presenting this medal to you on behalf of the executive committee. I met you, I believe, for the first time about 16 years ago or so in Eindhoven University. There was a workshop and you gave a lecture on drawing a paper pulp. <laughs> fascinated by the subject and the scientific uh, uh, questions and research that was presented there. And, that actually led me to get more and more interested in what we call later industrial porous media. So when the idea of setting up, uh, establishing Interpol came up, you were one of the first one that I also contacted. And you were present in the first uh, in, uh, uh, workshop on industrial porous media in November 2007 in Utrecht that we organized. And then you were also present uh, at the founding meeting of Interpol that was held in Utrecht on April 9th, 9th of April, 2008. So you really have been involved from the very beginning uh, in the birth of Interpol and establishing it and development of ideas for it. You were the first elected president of Interpol in 2009 and served as the member of the executive committee therefore for six years as the president elect and then president and then as president. You organized the first annual meeting of Interpol in 2009 in Kaiserslautern. Uh, I remember we were about, I believe, 90 participants and now look how the society has grown. Next slide, please. And then uh, over the years, you have just not uh, uh, had any hesitation to do any service to Interpol. Uh, you have been basically the logistic manager of Interpol meetings since 2012, when we started to organize Interpol meetings ourselves in the, instead of a local committee organizing it completely. And therefore then became the chair of the events committee that was established to coordinate this uh, uh, selection of the meeting place and all the contract issues, everything that goes with it. Then uh, you have been also working on the program of various conferences. I missed that item here. Since, uh, since 2013, you worked on the program committee, you chaired the program committee even though you were not uh, uh, officially, actually we didn't have the program committee, but you did all the work uh, for three, four years actually. And then uh, recently when the idea of setting up the Academy of Porous Media came up, yeah, you volunteered to become the director of the Academy because you were already involved in organizing workshops and, and short courses. So you have really helped to increase institutional membership on Interpol by uh, asking others uh, to join. And then, oh, we are moving with the slides. And uh, you have tried to uh, be active in the, the setting up the German chapter. You've been organizing meetings. 
it's just endless. You really have set up the standards for receiving this meritorious service medal that you really need to uh, be at the core of activities of Intercore. And once again, I thank you personally for that. It's been uh, a, a real pleasure to be working with you uh, on this uh, magnificent project and congratulations. Uh, yeah, our baby is now uh, big. And uh, I would like to express my gratitude uh, to Majid uh, for the kind words and to all those uh, who participated in the presentation of this truly touching award to me. This uh, medal is certainly a great honor and uh, I really, really appreciate this recognition. Yes, Interpol emerged as a big dream of like-minded people. And I was fortunate enough to be a part of this team. And uh, because the service is what feeds and contributes to the prosperity of any great organization, Interport tremendous growth and current success stems from the solid foundation we have led and from dedicated service of all the researchers and technical staff who have served Interport over the years. So, dear Majid, dear colleagues and friends, thank you very much for your commitment to excellence on our shared Interport service. This medal also goes to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, next slide, please. We'd like to thank our sponsors for Interpor. And now we're going to prepare.